Hello friends and welcome to today's video. If you are somebody who watches my channel quite regularly, you'll know that this is completely outside of the kinds of videos that I usually do, which are more beauty and skincare review related or way back when um, financial management related. Uh, and don't worry if you are somebody who is watching this who watches for my beauty content, this is not going to be a regular thing. But I wanted to do this video uh, to tell you a little bit about what's been going on in my life and uh, what has been working for me in terms of getting a little bit healthier. So let me say right off the bat that this video is going to be about Weight Watchers, which has been rebranded to WW uh, Freestyle, um, which I think now stands for Wellness That Works. Uh, basically, it's going beyond just weight into whole wellness. I'll also put out here at the start that I am not an affiliate in any way. I think if you are in the States, you can become an affiliate for WW. I am here in Canada, that does not exist. And I have not been an affiliate for anything on my channel. So just wanted to put that out there and make it clear. So if you're watching this and you are not somebody who usually watches my channel, uh, you may have been drawn in by the title of this. So what I'm gonna do in this video, and I'm just looking down because I have a couple of notes here, I'm going to tell you um, how I lost 23 pounds in two months, what I like about using this program, uh, some tips that I have for being successful on this program, and also a little bit about what I've been eating uh, that fits with the program. So I started out uh, my first day of starting with uh, Weight Watchers or WW. WW doesn't really slide off the tongue. How about I just say freestyle? Because that's what the program is called. So my first day starting with freestyle was actually on Halloween day. Uh, I went to a meeting, I signed up for three months at that point, and so from that first day when I was weighed in on Halloween until now, I have lost 23 pounds. I'm not gonna tell you specifically my weight in this video, I'm not that comfortable with that, uh, but I will say that I have about 50 more pounds that I would like to lose. So I'm like one third of the way there. I'm the easiest one third because you do tend to lose weight faster at first, but that has been my progress so far. So if you have no idea about this program, just to give you a little bit of a rundown of it, is basically different foods have different points values. You're assigned a daily amount of points uh, or basically a range of points to stay within. And then you also sort of have a buffer weekly number of points. Um, and that is how the program works. There is now an app. Um, I don't know how recent that is, but I think it's fairly recent, so you can keep track of everything, kind of in the same style of MyFitnessPal if you're used to that. Instead of tracking calories, though, you are tracking points. So what do I like about this program? So the changes that have happened since the program became freestyle is that the things that are zero points, so the things you can eat freely that basically are encouraged to eat because they are zero points are not only fruits and vegetables which i believe were zero points before but now really focus on lean protein so basically the bulk of your food intake your diet i don't really want to call it that but the bulk of your diet is going to be vegetables um low um carbohydrate vegetables is that right low glycemic index vegetables like a few things like potatoes uh, and sweet potatoes still have some points, but like if you're eating, you know, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce, uh, peppers, tomatoes, those are all zero points. And then also lean protein. So any kind of seafood, I believe, um, chicken breast, turkey breast, you know, low fat ground turkey, low fat ground chicken, uh, 0% Greek yogurt and eggs, and any kind of beans or lentils, those are all zero points. So you're basically making the bulk of your diet those foods. And I think that really takes into account the idea that carbohydrates aren't a bad thing, but that's where you wanna pay attention a little bit more in your diet is to carbohydrates and to fats, not necessarily because fats are bad at all, but because they're more calorie dense. So, I like that the program has that focus on lean protein. My partner can't have a lot of carbohydrates and sugar, his body doesn't react well to them. So it means that even though he's not on program, we can still cook a lot of foods that work for both of us. Um, and for 
me, a really major part of the program is the fact that it is points and not calories. You may see some people saying, or you may think to yourself, okay, so it's basically like calorie counting. Why not just calorie count? And that's very valid because the idea of calories in, calories out is true. Like you're going to lose weight if you eat less calories than you burn over time. For me, the problem is that I am a very black and white, um, all or nothing, extreme kind of thinker. So when I was trying to calorie count through my fitness pal, um, basically I would set myself some goal that would just be not good, like probably 1200 to 1500 calories a day, which is sort of the bare minimum of what you should be having. But again, I tend to be this extreme thinking kind of person. Now the problem with me would be that I would hit my 1500 calorie allowance for the day and then I would think, okay, it's noon and I need to stop eating. I just can't have anything else the rest of the day because I've eaten all the calories I'm gonna eat. And you wait and you get hungrier and you get hungrier and then I would just go all out and eat crappy stuff because I'm like, well, I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry. You know, your brain, if you're getting really hungry, will do that and make you want to eat a lot. And then I've blown it all, so why even bother? And that was the cycle that I was in. Whereas with points, and especially because there are zero points foods, I can, you know, even if I get up to my point limit <clears throat> for the day, if I look at it and go, oh God, like I've eaten all my points for today. First of all, there's the buffer of weeklies, but also, you know, I can make myself a vegetarian um, or vegetarian with some chicken breast chili, a big bowl of it that is very filling and is zero points. So I feel like there's this safety valve uh, that lets me still make really smart decisions and works with my all or nothing mindset I tend to have. Um, I'm also going to say that one of the things that I really like that I think has made this successful for me is going to the meetings and using the app. And the thing about the meetings is I find the one that I go to to be really motivating. I really like the topics that we discuss. They're not like, like you know this stuff. If you've dyed it before, um, if you've been on any kind of, you know, trying to lose weight, you know all this stuff. But something about sitting and having a conversation with other people about, this is my problem right now, what can I do? What tactics can I use? Or sharing your thoughts with others is very helpful. I'll also say for me, the good thing about the meetings, again, being sort of this obsessive kind of person, is that I don't weigh myself at any point during the week until I go to that meeting. Because I'm the kind of person where if I had a really good day of healthy food yesterday and I exercised, and then I step on the scale the next morning and I have gone up in weight, I think, what's the point? Why even bother with this? But having just that one time once a week, it just lets me focus on the right things instead of it always being about the scale. I really like the app and I think that makes a big difference because it has sort of a social media part of it and you get to have conversations with other people who are on the same journey. If you are in Weight Watchers Canada, because Canada's social media is separate from the United States social media, if you are doing Weight Watchers in Canada, let me know. Um, I will put my username down below so that you can go and find me if you are on there. Uh, so let's get into some tips that I have, things that I've learned over the last couple of months. Not an expert at this, but things that I've learned. Um, as I said, I really like the meetings, but you have to find the one that is right for you. Um, if you go to the meetings, you can go to as many meetings as you want. They don't you know, you could go to a meeting every day, they're not gonna charge you any more for that. But basically you can shop around for meetings that work for you. I was really lucky that the first one that I went to, I think is the perfect one for me because it has my people in it, so to speak. The one that I go to is midday and it is downtown in sort of the business district. And that means that you tend to get people who are on their lunch breaks working downtown, tend to be sort of professionals, closer to my age, and I also find that the leader has been really good. There's been a few folks who have filled in who have been lovely, but I really like our main, I say leader, uh, wellness coach who leads the meetings. Um, I did have a point where I couldn't go to my regular meeting and I thought, I'll go to a different one. Uh, and I went to one that was sort of out in the suburbs at a different time and it was all retirees and me. And it just 
didn't do anything for me because it wasn't my group. So I think it's important to go to the meetings, it's important to find the right ones that work for you, that jive with you, the leader that works with you, um, that really motivates you, and the people. And just keep working at it and seeing one that you like. I think another tip, and controversial or not, that's okay, um, I have been trying not to cheat the system. So you get, I think the points in a food are reduced if you have more protein in it. Um, so I know there are some folks who are always looking for, you know, what is the most I can have for the lowest points. There are some people who are really into like protein bars because you can have them for maybe just two points. For me, I'm trying to eat clean, whole foods, things that I cook for myself at home that are nutritious, that are not processed very much, and really build my meals around that. I think it helps to stay away from, oh, look, I found something that is like a chocolate that I can have for really low points, or, you know, these protein bars that are like chocolate bars, because I'm trying to make this work in a way of not trying to find the loopholes, but working with really good, wholesome, low-processed, cooked-at-home kinds of foods. This one again is going to be controversial, but I'm going to put it out there that I think it's important to eat when you're hungry. I tend to not eat breakfast. Uh, I'm not hungry in the mornings. I don't want to eat in the mornings. Um, if I wanted to, I could have some zero-point foods, like I could have, you know, some uh, apple chopped up in some yogurt, which I think is a really great snack. Um, but I tend to have a couple of cups of coffee in the morning and then I have a lunch midday and then a dinner. Uh, and for me it helps, I guess it falls a little bit into that intermittent fasting kind of thing, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to eat when I'm hungry and not eat when I'm not. And my body tends to be hungry from like midday through to early evening. And if I feed myself well in that time, I stay in my points range, I'm eating good food, I'm not going to start eating in the morning when I'm not hungry, specifically because we've all been told we should have breakfast. That's just a me thing. Your mileage may vary, but I'm not going to make myself feel like I have to eat something just because we should eat at breakfast. Another tip that I have is to engage with the app. Um, I have found that not only do I find it motivating to go and post stuff and ask questions and tell people how I'm doing, but if I'm sitting watching TV and it's the evening and I don't really feel hungry, 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 but I feel the need to snack, which happens because it's been a routine of mine and a habit to snack while I'm watching TV. Instead, I will go onto the app and not even post about myself, but just encourage other people. I'll go on and read through other people's stories and you know leave little hearts on it or say congrats or offer some ideas. And it's really hard to be engaging with the app and other people who are losing weight and people who are asking questions or having successes and then want to turn around and eat snack food. So. I think there's a lot that can be done in this, knowing that you're engaging with a group of people who are on a similar journey to yours. And my final tip that I'm going to say is give the rules a chance. There are really good reasons why some of the rules are in place at Weight Watchers. So for example, if you cooked a chicken breast at home and then um, you know maybe put a bread coating on top of it, you would put in the individual things and really you'd only be adding the points for like the breading on it. However, if you go and buy that and it's a processed food, even though it kind of seems like it has all the same ingredients, you're gonna be having the points for all of it. And you might think that's not fair. Well, it is because there's some thought behind trying to have you eat less processed food, which has a lot of sodium in it and trying to cook at home. Uh, there's also a thing that I know a lot of people get upset with that certain proteins, like if you have a shake and you blend up your fruits into it, then it counts as points. But the idea is drinking calories doesn't satiate you as much, so just give the rules a chance. Finally, I'll tell you a couple things that I've been eating, but also let me know if you want me to do a more dedicated video to this, and I'm happy to do so. I have been eating a lot of eggs, I've been eating a lot of yogurt, um, I've been eating a lot of roasted veggies, I've been eating a lot of zero point chili, and I'm going to put a link down below to one of the recipes that I've been working with. Uh, I have been having a lot of chopped up apples in yogurt with some cinnamon on it. Um, I've been having a lot of carbonated water and cut out soda. 
Those are the kinds of things I've been basing meals around, um, also very veggie-based curries, all of that. I think I'm running out of time here on my camera, so I'm gonna wrap it up, but let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do another one of these videos, um, and uh, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging in for this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.